Hello guys, welcome to my channel ERP Point and uh, this is a new part of the interview questions discussion that we have already uploaded few of the videos related to the interview questions and really this is this this is going to be interesting and uh, uh, that I have bring from uh, some of the person who has faced the interview questions the same whatever he has faced. So we'll see one by one and uh, so is it possible to change material type for any particular material if is if it is yes then how we can change the material type so so uh, do you really think that it is possible to change the material type of any specific material let's check it out yes we can change it by using the transaction code mam but there's having certain criteria that we'll see in the next questions so what is the condition that to change the material type for any specific material so this is the questions and we have to uh, check it out the answer what is the answer actually so no po should be open that means this should not be open po of a specific material against the vendor right see now this should not be evaluated stock in available in our metal master see if it is available in our inventory so system will not allow to change the metal type of that particular material right now there is no open item should be available for particular metal against any vendor. That means there should not be any payment pending against the specific material to a vendor. If it is pending, that means system will consider that it is open and it will not allow you to change. Right. So see what are the implications that we are facing right now for changing a material type in a specific material where we have seen in the transaction data where in the creation of the PO the second the inventory data that means uh, the storage data that means the storing of our uh, material in the plant now again the next implications where we have seen at the time of uh, payment to the particular vendor if all those were open system will not allow you to create right now so let's check out the next question that means see we can see that the transaction code to block the material that means how do we block the material and what is a transaction code and if it is blocked that what are the impact that we can see over the tables see everyone let you know about that how we can uh, block the material but let's check it out so this having p code that we do have is mm06 is for uh, block the material but the what is the implications shows over, over the table it will show you the deletion indicator will be x that we can see over the table right or the material we can suppose we have blocked the material that means we have blocked the material at the client level as well as plant and storage level as well so if the material is going to be blocked so remember it is going to be blocked from all the level like client level plant level as well as storage location level now let's check it out what are the tables for the material master so this is a very basic question that every fresher even though uh, the person who do have the experience of two to three years or five years he uh, the interviewer may ask to him or definitely he will ask that what are the tables and where the table uh, where the details of the metal master used to save in the tables so we have to name the table with their details so we do have the certain tables like mara table why it is used it is used to store the general data see what i am saying is to storing the data over the table that means what are the transaction or the master data we used to create in the sap that all are going to be saved in the specific table and all the transaction and the metal master having all the master data having their different different tables that the data used to store but right now we are seeing as we have seen mara table here the material general data used to store now marc table in marc table material plant level data used to store right see in mard table stock at plant level that used to store over there now mbew that means material valuation data that means their accounting data also you can check it out over here now mvk that means the sales data that what are the uh, data you have maintained in the sales view in the over the metal master you can check it out over here now we do have the marm that we used to maintain uh, uh, that is used to uh, store the data of the unit of measure that what are the unit of measures we have updated over the metal master now let's check it out the next question 
सो वट आर द कंट्रोलिंग फंक्शन ऑफ ए मिटरियल टाइप सी दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड इवन दो फाइव ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस एंड सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन मे गेट आस्क बाय द इंटरव्यू interviewer that what are the controlling function over the metal type see if you know if anybody is know the answer of it just pause the video and comment me in the comment box so that i can check it out that how many person has uh, know about it and if you don't know no worry i'm going to tell it right now so this having a certain uh, you know controlling function that is first of all we do have the metal number range the number range the number range used to be internal or external that is depend on us or that is depend on the totally business that what kind of number range the business need whether it is required internal number range the internal number range means that the system will auto generate via the number range you have entered in the material type or the external number range means the in the, in the number we will enter externally via the number range in in between the number range we have assign in the specific material type now the metal master different view if we will create the material type we do have this certain functionality that we can control that what are the views that we want against a specific material type suppose we do have a uh, suppose we do have the raw material and if we are creating the raw material and we don't want to purchase the raw material it means at the time of our configuration itself we will not allow to system to uh, open the purchasing view in the material master via the uh, config only config only on the material type right this is a example but uh, don't uh, you know uh, some uh, every company used to purchase the raw metal just i have given the example now we do have the price control also available over there and the procurement type that what kind of procurement type is available that means it whether it is internal procurement type or external procurement type means whether i am creating the or manufacturing the material in my own plant or i am purchasing from the outside or both that we can do uh, whether we can uh, if we will select the both that means we can purchase the material as well as we can create in, we can manufacture the material in our own plant or as well as the screen layout that what are the screen layout should be available and the most important is quantity and value update why i am saying the most important quantity and value updating see if we will create the valuated material type so it is mandatory to open the material material type in the quality as well as in the quantity in sorry in the quantity as well as in the value update against the valuation type and that would be the our client code at the time of your configuration you can check it out now the next question if the purchasing view is not extended during the metal master creation that what are the impacts we can get it is a very easy question and i hope everyone get to know that what is the answer if we know just pause the video and comment me in the comment back comment box so that i can get uh, that we uh, that you know but let me it is my responsibility to let you know uh, so while creating the purchase order you will get or while creating the purchase requisition as well you can get an error message that the material is not yet extended or not maintained for the purchasing view so that you have to maintain the material in the purchasing view then only system will allow you to create the purchase requisition or the purchase order now let's check it out the next question important field in the accounting view of the metal master somebody may ask or somebody may confuse that i am explaining the interview questions on the metal master basis only see why i am asking why i am showing it right now because metal master is one of the very important uh you know important point that every interviewer should ask you and there is having lots of implications of the metal master over all the transaction suppose you are purchasing you are selling or you are uh, creating the plan through the mrp data so that uh, that's why i am saying it is most important uh, parameters that uh, most important master data so what are the important what are the important field in the accounting view of the metal master we used to maintain what we used to maintain the price control and the valuation class the valuation class what is the valuation class i have already explained in my the previous videos what i will do i will as uh, i will give you the link of that specific video that i have assigned to the uh, i have updated or i have created over the my channel i'll give you the link in the description box as well as my on the i button as well now price unit and 
and let's check it out what is the type of price control in the metal master so what is as we have seen that important view important field in the accounting view is price control so what are the price control in the material master there is having two price control first of all is v moving average price and next one is s standard price i am going to ask you that how many of you know about the moving average price and the standard price and its implications over the financial transactions if you don't know if you know please write me in the comment box so that i can check it out or you can mail me directly over my mail id i'll drop the mail my mail id as well in the uh, in the description box you can check it out from there my mail id and see why i'm uh, if you don't know uh, there is no worry about it i will definitely upload a separate video because it is a one of the important point to the metal master in the accounting section that having directly implications in the finance so that it will take another 10 to 20 minutes to explain it correctly so that what i will do i will upload a separate video for that particular moving average price and standard price right so i hope uh, you have got some uh, information or you have got the good questions that uh, has been asked in the interview and i hope you have liked the video if you like the video please hit on the like button and do subscribe my channel and thanks for today thank you bye bye take care